Asian Network. Sana, a pleasure to have you here in London. How are you? Thank you so much, Harun, for inviting me here. It's a pleasure of mine as well. You are an inspirational actress for several reasons. Firstly, though, some people do not know that you are the same Sana who worked for years and years in Pakistan's Lollywood industry. They know you as this actress on TV now who's been in hit dramas like Orangreza or Alif Allah or Insan. But they don't know that you have been part of this industry for how many years? Well, uh, I forgot. <laughs> I don't want to remember that. But secondly, I would say that I'm the one like you always take challenges, always love to take risks. Uh, I, I read a lot of time people have written me off, but that's okay. That's a life. That's their opinion. Everybody has their own uh, way of talking, uh, right to you know give opinion. But that's fine. Uh, nothing can stop me what actually I wanted to do and to carry on. I want to rewind back to about 15 or 20 years ago when you entered the Lollywood film industry. By the way, I was very young. Yes, no, I'm sure you were. <laughs> I started uh, in very young age. Uh, that time I even don't know about the acting, even I never uh, have an idea how to present, how to, I, I never been groomed. In these days when I see the girls like these are already so groomed, uh, so presentable, uh, they already so much new already, uh, like they have, they don't need to improve that. Why did you get into films and TV back then? Because the roles were limited for women. In fact, you know, many people have highlighted that some of the songs that you had to dance to, some of the lyrics of those songs were not great. You know, they were quite raunchy songs, some of them. Some of them were very provocative songs. Why did you choose to be part of those? Even when I've choose that, those stuff, even I have no idea what I'm doing because I was so young, I have no any other person beside to, to guide me properly, to tell me that where, you know, this thing I should do, this thing I should not what do. What about your family? Well, my family was there because of, you know, them, their support. I am like become so confident, uh, it's for sure. But still, you know, they, uh, they were not an actor, they were not director or something like people who were from showbiz. So they were like, they, they cannot, uh, uh, people that who can tell me that, okay, this is good for you, this is not right for you. So it's always, uh, it have to have, uh, I need to decide myself always. Did you feel like you were being taken advantage of at that point? Because the songs were so, some of them are vulgar, you know? Uh, you know what, actually uh, the scale of vulgar, a short dress to saying something bad, there's nothing. People these days doing a lot more things which is bad or I would say. It was all about presentation. It's all about where we, we uh, took a place, where we there, they, they, you know, put us in that situation. Mm. It was not about what we're doing because we were an actor. An actor is always like, you know, uh, we, we, we are not sort of like, that was not me. It was something was my, my character or whatever, like, you know, my skills. लेकिन जैसे लोग आपको बताते थे कि हम आपको ऐसे प्रेजेंट करेंगे हम आपको ऐसे दिखाएंगे ऐसे हम आपको रिस्पेक्टफुली आपको दिखाएंगे वर दे ट्रू टू देयर वर्ड डिड दे प्रेजेंट यू द वे दे वर सेइंग दे वर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट वेल एक्चुअली आई हैव डन लॉट ऑफ वर्क व्हिच आई नेवर बिलीव एंड बट आई डिड आई डिड नॉट नो दैट वे टू गो लाइक यू नो द ओनली प्लेस वी वी नो दैट ओके दिस इज शोबेस एंड वी हैव टू डू दिस बिकॉज़ वी हैव टू फॉलो दैट बिकॉज़ देयर आवर डायरेक्टर डायरेक्टर इज कैप्टन ऑफ द टीम सो वी नीड टू हेयर नीड टू लिसन देम but still, you know, when over the time, passage of time, like, you know, we start knowing that, you know, this is not right when we start saying that, okay, listen, I will not do this. When did you have the guts to say no? Very My late, research. I guess, very late. But uh, still, you know, I don't uh, judge while uh, people say that, oh my God, you know, she's wearing this and she's uh, saying this. Uh, plus, you know, sometimes, you know, when, whenever we do any sort of character, that's a character, that's a skill, that's gain. Uh, you are doing what you are not. You portray, but I believe here, whatever I am sitting right now, this is me, a real Sana. How do you look back at that 
industry, the Lollywood industry, because it's fair to say that the Lollywood industry has died down completely. Lo Lollywood, the word came from Lahore because the film industry was based there. Very few people are left there. They've either moved to Karachi or they've left the entertainment industry. Some people like Shan say to me it was the best time of their life. Some people like Javed Sheikh say, oh, it was a really tough time. How do you look back at it? Well, uh, I guess uh, that's the bad idea of uh, people that they start saying it's a Karachi industry and Lahore industry. We should, that's what I'm saying. I feel that we, why we are not people like who always, uh, why we complexed people being Pakistani. We always say, you know, that time was bad. Okay, people, everyone like do mistakes and we, we learn from our mistakes, that's fine. That was the time where people do this thing. We even did not know what is the right, as I told you. But what about that time, you, only criteria is the good film is hit. If it's hit, then everything like you know whatever the sin you committed it's okay you you are but, but the film has to be hit but what was the um really the the mark of success how did you know a film was a success back then because there was no internet there was no people writing on social media you used to go that to the time cinemas? was a real hit yeah. because of that we got to know how because you must remember about my Year the Lapka was yes. my blockbuster film. Yes, yes, yes. And I came first time London for this movie. That was my first trip. Into Javed Sheikh directed it? Yeah, he, yes. he directed that movie. And then right after I did Ghar uh, Ke with the Sajad Gol's movie with, with a big banner of Pakistan. Whatever so far, I would say that even right now people sh once for all to realize that this is this has to be Pakistani industry, not for Lollywood or Karachi industry or the Lahore industry. It has to be one. Then only we can take a place proper. Everybody says to me that there was a lack of professionalism in yes. Lollywood. You know, scripts, time pe nahi milti thi. True. Theek, time pe nahi milte the. True. Was there a lack of respect towards women in that industry? I ask you that because right now in the world, the Me Too movement has picked up hugely and the kind of roles for women at that time were not the best roles for women so i want to know what the atmosphere was Even like for women still offscreen. still in the films right now the situation we are actually going through right now we are not getting much uh, role for uh, women in the movies yeah. only in the dramas we are getting few roles it's always there the situation we always like faced and you know even when i started my career it was men oriented industry you see, it's always a Sean, um, you know, he's Momirana. man of the match, Momirana and so then Barbara Ali and every, you know. So it was, it, it's, it's always been like man oriented industry. So I, I, I would say that, you know, in, in terms of respect, you were asking me. Respect, I mean, that's, that's how like, you know, I don't believe that's even again, so many other actresses, how they're taking their career and their life, that all depends a uh, matter of respect, I guess. What do you think of the Me Too movement? I don't have any such experience though, but uh, I am with all the women who has that and they've, you know, gone through such experience. It's good to like, you know, uh, because when you say something and when you, when you have guts to express, you set example for others. But in Pakistan, the victim is also blamed. If it happens with the victim, they give it to them. You will have to wear something, you will have to wear something, that's why people have done this behavior with you. But we are one of those, we are every day we get judged by people. No matter how. Either I'm wearing dupatta, either I'm wearing skirt. People say that, you know, uh, if, you know, very second day, uh, I, I remember that I, post some picture which you know short skirt and something like that I was wearing like you know I was comfortable I feel like I don't know what is bold or what is like you know but I feel happy I, I don't know how I'm looking sexy or super glamorous but I what one thing I know that I I look happy woman so I was looking happy woman that time somebody said oh you know you're not Muslim and this and that and very second day I post a picture with Dupatta and I said Juma Mubarak said mashallah alhamdulillah wah 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 kya baat so people are within a second they, they're double standard people I don't know why people want a woman uh, how they want to see they doesn't want, uh, want to see how she want to be Is it hard being yourself in Pakistan? Yes, it is sometime, yeah. Why? 
बिकॉज यू यू के नॉट बी वॉर एवर यू आर जैसे जैसे आपने आज कपड़े पहने हुए फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैन यू गो इन कराची आई डू दैट आई डोंट केयर आई डू केयर अबाउट माई सेल्फ एंड आई एम द वन I always say that's how I was saying that I am actually working on certain project and certain things which you know I wanted to tell that it's not about to being slim it's not about to look sexy it's about to be you be authentic be real be normal so tell us about the project that you're working yeah. on it's very interesting though because you know why interesting because i it's been long time i'm associated with film industry tv drama although i feel proud to be uh, drama industry i would definitely share this feeling because you must have remember ali fallah insan aur angreza sonia jahan and nigar begum was the uh, the character which i've played put me in in a different level of my acting skills i want to talk about those two things okay. in detail the reason why is because um i watched orangreza right from the start when it came on tv and i didn't know your older work because here in london we didn't really get lollywood films I know. here so you know watching you in orangreza was the first time i was seeing you and i was like wow you're so talented you're such a good actress and then i started researching about your previous work and your career and what i realized was well you know uh, even even you find on a wikipedia is not everything real no, yeah. i don't know why and how and even i don't have time to I told so many time to people like you know my even team um uh, my admin and everyone like who's who's running this uh, social and uh, the, the fan pages and all I said what is this please sort it out I mean I don't know how to deal with that yeah yeah so many fake information regarding me I don't know how to deal with that but what I want to say is that you were so good in that drama and your role tackled a real issue in Pakistani society and that is that Aurangreza is about a woman an actress who is admired by many many people around the world but men don't want their daughter to be like her why do men in pakistan and i'm generalizing but you can you can answer this why do men in pakistan think it's acceptable to go and watch a, a woman in film and tv but hold their daughters back from pursuing the same line of work well you know the character i've played th- this was a a huge celebrity uh, aura sonia jahan, yeah. sonia jahan sort of noor jahan you know the type of woman like who has the hold of industry and everything you know she got fame she got money everything but still she lack of respect yes. she did not get that and again the real side of men mentality they have showed up when you see your girlfriend or to woman you admire is in a different way when you see your wife that you know totally perception to thinking of way of thinking is change and even when it go it comes to your daughter or your you know it's again totally you know way of thinking is different so why i mean actually the, that was a real side of man's mentality which you know we are keeping still i i told you that it will remain the same why though why will it remain the same because isn't the whole idea of these because dramas- women doesn't want to change that our women actually whenever it comes to reality I guess Pakistani sometime somehow not all but most of them are confused society and where uh, even uh, especially for the women if you you know place it so women are there is uh, something where aging is a sin and seniority is disgusting uh, people take that oh my god you know it's not that you learn from your experience now you because the way I feel after working in this industry so so many years what i feel i feel myself way better i feel myself way more confident more presentable and i can now speak up before i did not have sort of vision obviously because of age because of like no experience i never seen uh, so many things like you know i've never go through with that so it's always like you know with the age with the time you learn i'm intrigued by you saying that age is seen as a sin in pakistan you know you are not as young as the actresses who are fronting a lot of dramas today is it hard finding roles for your age look it's not all some of them like uh, uh, but you know again you know some of them uh, are senior um, i am senior being uh, wo- working but uh, working skills you can say 
but not with age some of like my age they were still working it's like I'm but it's harder though isn't it because you're right in pakistan the young actresses the new actresses yeah, it is always the 18, there 19 20 year old actresses it's always there and I, i'm happy with that i'm very much comfortable and very realistic very normal whatever i am i'm happy so what but a role like sonia jahan look you know i i i made this trend and i have changed this setup where people think oh my god you know if you going in the middle of your age and you cross 30 you you will not find your role proper role and leading role i don't want to tell that okay oh my god you know i always wanted to be you know uh, running around the trees and i wanted to dance i have a lot more other to tell but isn't it hard because a role like sonia jahan in orangreza or the role that you played in alif alaur insan those roles don't come around every day it's not like every day you're being presented with 10 scripts like that so how is how hard is it to find good roles for different types of of women you know yeah i know it's difficult sometimes but it's okay I don't want to do a lot of work because I don't have time. I have a family. I have a lot more to do. I have But don't uh, you want that to change in the industry? Shouldn't there be better roles for women written? Yes, I I believe so, but again, you know, uh but it's going on. This is the process, you know. People are working on that and they uh, we, we actually recently I have I have rejected three two three scripts. There was some role but I did not like it. I knew some of them like I don't have time to do that. So it's okay it's always happen I am never uh, sort of a person to think that oh my god you know what will I do right uh, after two years and what will I? so I keep going and I am changing things doing and even I get bored doing same thing even you say if you say that okay again if I am looking for something like Orangreza and Ali Fallan said ah, no I will not even I rejected some of role which were similar to that I said no I don't want to do, do that Recently I'm doing Babun Khala ki beti which is totally different it's a story about six girls like you know who are aging and not finding the uh, rishta for them like you no know. you're also working on a Netflix original series can you tell us about that well actually uh, I'm working on Netflix they actually told me not to talk about before it, it, you know something. how did this news come out then <laughs> uh, I don't know I have no idea some of like you know because my people like you know I talk about so they they <laughs> might be the league I did not tell uh, anyhow but I am working on a youtuber as well uh it's something uh, basically it's a it's a lifestyle show so this is a youtube channel that you're launching yeah it's a lifestyle show basically where uh, you you can find a lot of things, even so many a guest will invite uh, in that show i am hosting i am presenting and i am showing other side of uh, being a public face So it's a lot of things and where you know we 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 talk about some health side as well some um so many other issues we are actually talking about and that is a channel where you're also going to be showcasing your uh fitness transformation because you have focused over the last few months on a fit, fitness transformation and as you've mentioned already in this interview this was not to look uh a certain way this was about feeling good can you talk to me about your fitness transformation Yes actually uh, you know these days i've seen that people do a lot of things to <coughs> make themselves calm grounded certain you know they they you know content i'm a little different i do gym i do exercise that is meditation for me and i want to show up this all that you know why i'm doing and you know that that something which 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 helps me to think clear to boost up my creative side gives me energy so that's what actually i i what idea of my uh, doing this is always i feel that uh fitness is something in pakistan especially which is in the last when you everything you talk about what i'm wearing what i'm you know uh what etc etc shopping bags oh what which bag is this which brand is this they never talk about you know how to be healthy how to be you know take your life you know be happy how can you know we we can stress uh, overcome our stress so something like that they never talk about so that's how the idea of you know which is uh although it's very essential these days and you know i want to talk to you just finally about the transition that you face because we've spoken about your success in lollywood and we've spoken about your success in the drama industry but there was a phase in between where the world the entertainment world that you knew 
was crumbling apart, you know, and this new industry was forming in Karachi. And it just so happened to be during the time when you got married and you were shifting to Karachi yourself. Talk to me about that phase. Well, um, I guess uh, that's a good idea to uh, for for people like who started in Karachi because you know in Karachi you you find a lot of business market uh, before people has uh, though experience to make movies but they don't have how to market that you know then we never seen a big market like now we find uh, on you know everywhere like you know see they they although they're getting better day by day. They, they're putting a lot of effort for that. They're taking a place now, you know, where we can see that we, and say that uh, regarding film industry. Otherwise, people never take this serious uh, when it comes to film industry. So now, I mean, I have uh, best wishes people who are putting effort, uh, all the new people, even the uh, girls like who are working, Mahira, Umaima, Aisha Omar, um, Sajal, and so many other like um, Sonia, everyone like, you know, uh, I just forgot so many girls like the working. These all are like working so hard, even mm, the men who are working since long time, but though they, they improve their self, but Humayun you know, Saeed. The men have struggled more than you've struggled. That's the interesting part here. You were working with these same actors 20 years ago, and now those actors have not managed to find that level of success in new phase Lollywood. For example, Shan and Momarana are still working, but their films aren't reaching the level that they used to reach back then. You know why? Why? Because of their attitude, they need to change their attitude. Everything is there, but still, it's a little acceptance to to make their mind to give respect, to accept that 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 you know, uh, anyone can do better, and we should appreciate. Start appreciate people, the uh, the thinking of that, which I felt, though I am not against uh, talking against of anyone or particular I don't want to talk about I have really great respect for them they are great actors they have done a lot more good work than now people doing but still you know they need to change their mind Asian Network